Our top story this Friday morning, Oregon schools will be closed statewide starting on Monday. I'm Shauna Parsons. I'm Kimberly Moss. The governor made that announcement late last night. Now families are scrambling to make plans for the two-week closure. Fox News Amber Wilmarth is standing by live in an elementary school in Northeast Portland. But we want to begin with Deborah Gill, live at Sunset High School in Washington County. Deb, you've been talking to the students. What are they saying about the governor's decision? Every student we talk to agree with the closures, but some of them do have some concerns. Many private schools had already uh, moved to online learning before the governor's announcement, but some schools like here at Sunset High School, they do not have that capability, so it's not an option for their students. Governor Brown made the announcement just after 10 last night, ordering schools to stay closed until April 1st. Brown says she made the decision after hearing from school leaders, teachers, parents, students, that fi and finding that schools were already suffering from high absentee rates and workforce issues. All the students we talked to at Sunset High agree with the shutdown, even if they are missing some sports and activities they enjoyed. Well, I think it's good to like limit contact with each other, I guess around, you know, in classes, especially also in sports that we're always together because the more we spread it out, there is less time to actually like get over what's going on. The Beaverton District says not all of its students have access to technology and developing a massive online learning program isn't feasible in such a short amount of time, which could, of course, be a big issue for them moving forward if the impact of this virus goes beyond the two and a half uh, week closure. Reporting live in Northwest Portland, Deborah Gill, Good Day, Oregon. All right, Deb, thank you. Now let's get to Fox Hills Amber Wilmarth live at, a, at Wrigler Elementary in Northeast Portland. Amber, these closures raise a lot of concerns for par parents about um, child care, school lunches. Yeah, it's a huge concern for so many fam families. As you mentioned, Wrigler Elementary is open today, but it will be closed starting Monday, and it won't be back open until April 1st. The Portland Public School Superintendent said in a statement that he knows closing the schools for an extended time will be difficult for many families who rely on schools for meals and for a safe place for children to be while their parents are at work. He said the district is working on finding ways to provide meals to students for next week, and he says they will likely identify specific school sites to serve as hubs where meals can be distributed and picked up. They're hoping to have all of that figured out in the next two days, and as soon as we get those details, we will provide them to you as well. Governor Kate Brown shared that same concern when she announced the statewide closure of schools last night, but they both say this is a necessary step to slow the spread of COVID-19. It's all a part of the social distancing method that they're using across the state to prevent a mass outbreak. And the superintendent also said that custodial staff will be going through all the schools during this closure, cleaning the schools and high touch surface areas as well. So again, school will be closed starting Monday. It is in session today, but Monday it'll begin that closure and it'll go through April 1st. They say that is a tentative return date. They will evaluate a couple days before that and get that message out to parents. Reporting live from Northeast Portland, Amber Wilmarth. Good day, Oregon.